hello lolas welcome back to my channel hey guys if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and guys if you're not a chatter queen or a chatter king the link is in the description bar for the chatter box we will have a live stream in the chatter box this weekend one way or another we going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to get the time in, but we're going to meet, I think, Saturday night. Um, I will definitely confirm with the Chatter Queens and Kings in the Chatter Box. I will put a link up. I will put a post up letting you know for sure if it's Saturday or Sunday night. Um, I'm thinking leaning more towards Saturday night. But anyway, guys, that's also what's popping also have a lot of different things coming up like i said um definitely um some new merch um some new love mail type items that will be going out so <laughs> funny thing is i went to the post office to pick up something and to drop off a package to a friend that prefers usps over ups and so I went there, did all, did that, then I went to UPS, only to find out that I needed to ship the rest of my packages through USPS because I didn't realize that one of the recipients um, was had a P.O. box and UPS will not deliver to a P.O. box. So, um, anywho, anyhow... So I was like, I, can't, I didn't have time to go back to the other one. So that delayed me almost a week. So now all the people that I was sending out um, love mail to last week will be going out. Sorry, I'm always doing that. I hate that cricking noise when I'm listening back to the videos. Anyway, um, so that will be going out this week. I'm also, um, I also ordered, I mean, some new boxes so that I can be able to properly ship these things being that the, the the wine glasses are glass, I want to make sure they're packed pretty pretty decent. And so um, I'm also ordering some more stuff, but I have some stuff to review for you guys. I have some, um, I have a new link, a new plug, <laughs> a new place to order um, box opening items and all that great jazz. So I can't wait to share that information with you guys, but I wanna make sure I take time so I can have all the links and have everything done properly for you guys. Um, so anyway, without further ado, I want to get my sweetie, my little Micah, get him into this. I was getting him dressed off camera and then I was like, you know what? I need to dress him on camera. Um... So my morning starts off really crazy. So sometime, if I go to bed too early, I get up around 2. And then I have to try to make myself go back to sleep. Sometimes it's a little earlier than that. So definitely by 3, I get a first wake up. And then I got to fight myself to go back to sleep. I know, it's crazy. Because I'm thinking of all the things that I need to do that I can't that I got to get done. So I get up super, super early in the morning a lot of times. And so either I tidy up like the downstairs that maybe I didn't do the night before because, you know, work gets to be tiresome and I'd be tired at the end of the day. Or um, I'll come in and and then I'll, I'll come in, I'll dress the babies or try to tidy up the nursery or something is getting cleaned or done first thing in the morning. But a lot of times if, if I do a video, this is in the wee hours. So this is how I maintain having a full-time job, being a full-time mom, homeschooling, doing uh, custom orders, now having um, prototypes coming. <laughs> um, this is how I maintain all of that without really, I don't really be like exhausted. Sometimes I do take a day and I just, I have to like, fight myself about it and I'll be like everybody get a day off and sometimes like on a Saturday or something I may say you know what 
I'm taking, you know, the morning off or the, uh, the afternoon off. And so that's what I normally do. So this is, I think this is a, I don't know what size this is because he seemed to fit small newborn stuff as well. Hmm. Well, the, the tag doesn't show. So, I don't know. But he does seem to fit like small newborn. I know he could fit preemie, but he definitely still fits small newborn. And that's good for us for a, re a good reason, right? So, um, I like that Lord Tutoros made him a little, have a little bit of size to him because we like to dress our babies up and I know sometimes finding preemie clothes can be challenging but also adds to the fun of collecting because finding cute little um let me make sure you guys can see adding cute little preemie stuff um finding cute little preemie stuff to your collection for your collection is like really um interesting and fun sometimes um sometimes creamy stuff can be a little bit more cost costly but i just think it's so cute when you can find stuff on a small scale right so anyway the good thing is that he is a in between so he can definitely fit some small um newborn and i like that because although i have well i did shop for him this morning <laughs> i was laying in bed and i was trying to count sheep but that wasn't working so i started counting orders <laughs> so i did order him a few things hopefully they they fit when they arrive um but because he doesn't have like his own little wardrobe specific to him as of yet it's good that he can fit in some of his you know small newborns because i don't have a lot of premium stuff and i don't have really well i do have like a few little items of premium boy stuff but i do have i have a quite a bit of premium girl stuff let me say that not boy so i'm gonna crisscross this just to make the strap shorter i could tie it of course but i don't feel like doing all that right now so a lot of times if you don't feel like doing it we tuck it for pictures and stuff like that you gotta, you gotta learn how to make it work guys so i do have some little boots that i could put him on um so i don't know like it's the, his eye color, his, his, I don't know, his face, his facial expression, it just makes me giggle when I see him. I don't know what it is about that. But, so I do have, oh no, these are too big. I mean, kind of, not really, but, I mean, I, they might look a little too big on him. See if I got some. Now these would definitely fit, but they are the wrong color. Those are camouflage. Oh baby, you're gonna be ready for the winter. Let me see. This got the little fleece inside. So I see people already switching over to winter clothes. <sighs> some babies I'm ready to do that with. Some babies I still want to keep them in. I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. But. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. But he can fit them. So with maybe some jeans or so. These would be cute if they would have been brown. And they definitely will fit. Because I know they're like newborn. See, like those. Those work. 
You look like a little pretty boy. Pretty boy Floyd. <laughs> in those. But yeah, so he has little different shoes, but I think he'll be fine with those. Do you have? So it's just a little romper. Tommy likes to try to get that. Get that finger, that um, fist in his mouth. But yeah, I see a lot of people switching over to winter clothes already. But I'm in Florida, so it's hot. Like, all the time. Like, I mean, in dead middle of winter. Sometimes, you know, we have days where we're wearing flip-flops. So, it's like, not happening. Um, yeah. So, anyway. That is my little man in his little honey bear outfit. He will... I will get him some photos. Maybe I'll switch Phoebe out of the bouncer and put him in there so he can get some photos for Instagram. But yeah, we are busy, busy as Bumblebee, but I don't forget about you guys. I still want to make videos and talk to you guys about different things. I know a lot of people are going through the madness with all this to do customs, to not do customs and the whole other hot topics that's going on and I don't even know if I want to even go there because mm, I just don't know that I want that energy right now oh you're still cute <laughs> I'm just so happy with him you know I don't know if I'll paint another one of him but if I did maybe I would try a dark color a dark skin color like a very chocolate baby oh he would be so cute I would give him the same color eyes though and do a chocolate skin tone I don't even remember where I got those eyes from I actually took these eyes out of <laughs> another scope um because I'm just so sick of trying to paint it is German vinyl which I won't paint journal vi German vinyl I won't even attempt so I think I took the eyes away from him. Let me see if I got that kit for you guys to see. Nope, that's not who I stole eyes from. But this is Mika, Micah, Mika, Mika, by Gudrun Legler. So real quick, here's some tea for you guys. A lot of people was asking and talking about, is that him? He looks like him. Well, I can assure you that I probably thought similar. That's as well as the, the Jonah, um, my, not Jonah, but what that kit was that I did by Samantha Gregory. So kits tend to look, oh God, this is going to be a long video. Kits tend to look a lot alike until you see them in person or have them side by side. Or I've noticed that in you know, the people, uh, videos, I mean, not videos, um, photographs, like the, the prototype artists, because they are like, you know, taking pictures, they're looking for cute. And so different angles and all that can give them that look. But as you can see, these two sculpts are absolutely nothing alike. So let me get another sculpt that I've heard people say that it looks like, and I thought it looked like too. Do I even have that readily available? Where is that? Um, hang on, guys. Bear with me, bear with me. I got so many kits, I should I didn't think about this when I was talking. Ah, I got it. All right, so this is another one. Where is the, oh, the, the COA is probably already filed. I usually pull the seal out. So this is, I forget what kit this is. Let me see, hopefully it's it's on the, the neck. So this is, mm, I don't know, but it's, it's by Samantha Gregory. So this is another one that I thought these looked alike and I thought dang when this kit when the Warren kit by Laura Tudor Ross first came out I said sure that looks just like th 
this one. And then I thought when this one came out, I was like, that looks just like that one or however. But it was like, they, I thought they looked alike. Oh wait, you guys can't even see. Hang on, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna have to move little, little mama here. Come on, baby. She's not really weighted, so that's why she looks stiff when you move. She's not, her head is not really weighted. She has a little bit of weight in her body, but not much. Cause I was rooting her. So, and as you can see, their head size is different. Head shapes are not really the same. And here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bear with me. All right, so now one is asleep. So there's a lot of people was like this one. So they thought Warren by Lord T. Ross looked like an awake this one but as you can see look at the mouth in this one this one is like a baby that's sucked in his tongue this one is a baby that's sticking his tongue out a little bit and he is just a baby that's trying to coo or talk so totally different babies and different sculpts um this one will be a keeper. This is the one that Tia sent me from the UK. So this one will be a keeper when I do him. I don't know. Let me look at the lamb. He does have two fists. So, but his fists are different. Yeah, his fists are different. So yeah, different kit. Different sculpting. Um, again... Another reason why it is so hard for collectors to be like, you know, oh, this is a, this one is a copy of this one, and this one, well, and this one is so much like that one, and all that. Well, sometimes they are totally nothing alike. He is definitely more. He is preemie. This is preemie versus them but i just i just thought i'd show that to you guys because i know i said that and then somebody else asked me that on a couple of his pictures they they asked me was he this kid or that kid or said he looked like that kid but in person or when they're side by side they actually look nothing alike so yeah and you see the head size totally Totally different. All right. So I just thought I'd share that part since we brought it up. And y'all brought it up, which y'all knows and mess it behind. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys later because y'all, I got to go. Bye.